Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Uh, today I'm going to show you on how to optimize in the best way uh, your mail on your Mac. Um, how the best way is to organize your mail or a few other applications to organize your mail, uh, except from the default mail app you get um, by default, obviously, with the Mac. Um, so most of them are paid, unfortunately. It's really hard for me to find free ones, so I've included a few free ones and I'm going to mainly focus on those. Then I'm just going to quickly go over the paid ones uh, and if you're really interested obviously I'll, I'll leave all the links in the description so you can check them out and all the features and stuff so uh, yep so first off we have grow mail which is basically a little notification when you get a new mail um, so it works with the um, multiple mail agents uh, so if you're using hotmail gmail whatever uh, and well let me just show you how this looks they have a little preview here on the on their website um, well it's pretty simple how it looks it comes well wherever you want. I've got it in a corner right there, you can see, popped up a little thing there. Uh, and that's basically going to show up saying, for example, the na the subject of uh, the email and then like a little preview or uh, like the first phrase of the mail. You have like a ton of different uh, little uh, themes here, as you can see. Uh, there are a few different themes. One down there as well. Uh, Nano, which is really small. Notify OS 9, stuff like that. So uh, I'm just gonna keep with my crystal here, which is my favorite for now. And uh, well, that's basically grow mail. It uh, notifies you uh, every time you get a new mail. I think it checks every five minutes, or you can set that up even if I'm correct. Um, but it notifies every time you want, and then it gets in all the mail, and then it notifies you if you have new mail. So that's free. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. So second off, we have Flagit, which is unfortunately fifteen dollars. Uh, well, Flagit is basically um, a little plugin or yeah slash application um, you have in your mail, and you can create a lot of flags uh, from different colors and then organize your mail like that. So for example, you have all uh, your mail about uh, your family in orange, and then another mail in purple you can like organize in groups um, so that's flag it so it's basically adding labels to your mail um, so be sure to check them out then we have mail hub which is probably the best uh, out there uh, money related if you really want a good organizer um, it's 15 or sorry 20 dollars there's a 30 day trial available um, and well it's really handy for creating folders uh, organizing your mail searching and it also for example recommends where you should put a certain mail for example you're reading a mail and it's gonna actually record what you're doing and what you're used to uh, and then it's gonna say you might want to store that in that folder and such so uh, it actually is pretty smart that's why it's called the smart plugin uh, for Apple mail so this again is a plugin uh, so it does work for Snow Leopard by the way all of these work for Snow Leopard except for the last one but I'll tell you about it then, fourth, we have Mail Act on Two, which is a uh, which used to be an application, if I'm correct, but it is a plugin. Um, well, it's literally a little window like this, hovering on top of your application or on your desktop, and uh, well, it's just to minimize your mail, and it's easier. Like if you want to quickly go to something, you see, you can put those little hotkey see here, uh, and then like, open a folder, copy message to folder, so you can have those little things, and that's twenty five dollars. Personally, I think it's overpriced, but there's a 30-day trial available again. Uh, mail tags. Um, well, you could you could uh, relate this. Well, you could um, compare this to flag it. Uh, it's also to add tags to your mail, um, add the day or stuff like that, the date that you got it. Or well, you can see the few features here. It says a few bullet points: build flexible organization, keep on top important mail, manage your correspondence take notes of for the future so yeah you can add notes tags and then it's easier to search for later if you want to search uh, mail so then another one um, rocket box so unfortunately you get fifteen dollars free trial available for almost all of them by the way um, so this is mainly based on searching in your mail application uh, this makes searching really easy you can search by name subject or even the content that's in the mail for example, you have a certain word in the mail. You know it was in the mail, but you don't. You forgot from who it was. You can search with this plugin. 
again called Rocket Box. Um, your mail and it's really quick and stuff like that goes. Apparently, it's supposed to be quick compared to the other ones. So that's Rocket Box. Mini Mail, um, twelve ninety five dollars. Uh, well, it's basically again a uh, thing of hovering on top of your application or little window, uh, showing you every. Well, the whole email it shows you the whole email except if it's in a really small window. So uh, what I think about this, I think it's definitely overpriced again. Uh, for just a small hovering window on top, definitely a price again. There's a 30 day trial, so be sure to check that out. And uh, I'll talk about a little alternative. Um, if you do not use Snow Leopard, there's a alter free alternative to this uh, in a minute. Then we have Spam Sieve. Uh, that is not for organizing your mail, it's more for, uh, as the name says it, uh, anti spam for your mail. And uh, it really does quite a lot actually. Um, Terms off mail notification, automatic mail notification, spam, junk mail, uh, stuff like that. Um, and it works within Apple Mail, Entourage, Power Mail, Andorra, and MailSmith. Um, so, again, you might want to check those out. Those are also actual mail clients. So, these are application and not plugins. Um, so, be sure to check them out. Um, then, the last, or no, yes. Is this the last one? I don't know. Um, no, there's one after this. Docstar. Uh, this is actually a pretty creative, uh, pretty creative one. Uh, it's un unfortunately fifteen dollars, but there's a free demo or free trial available, and uh, you can customize your doc icon with those little notification on top, uh, different colors, different uh, forms, different icons. Uh, for example, you have a star, which is uh, for example, you have three new star mails or two unread or three uh, five mils uh, within your family folder and that all comes in your menu bar and you can see for each folder uh, if there's new mail uh, you know exactly uh, in what folder it is w which folder got new mail and stuff like that so that's a pretty cool and creative application you can see all the features right there um, so this does work again in Snow Leopard so then the last one uh, is called Mail Appetizer, this is a, a plugin for mail again. Um, it's free, and the only bad thing about it, uh, it doesn't work with Snow Leopard. Apparently, he is busy on it, so you can follow him on Twitter for uh, the updates. Uh, it does work on Leopard and Tiger. And what this is, it's kind of like mini mail. It uh, literally displays the mail with the from mailbox, the whole information, and the whole mail uh, on a little almost transparent window on top of your application little notification and uh, you can set the transparency but uh, it puts the whole mail and it's really nice if you want to just uh, you know you have a mail somewhere on your screen and then you writing something else depending on that mail you know it's always nice so uh, these are kind of the best way to uh, to organize better your mail or just have better performance in your mail uh, if you're using the mail application uh, again for the few mail applications out there um, Apple Mail obviously the default one Antwerp which is the one from uh, Microsoft it's kind of Outlook but then they change the name and they make it new uh, Power Mail, Andorra and MailSmith uh, there are a few others they're smaller uh, less known but uh, be sure to check all of those out I'll put all the links to right here what you saw in the video right there in the description down there and be sure also to comment and like down there and if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to check out my videos and subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out uh, that's about it for this video thanks for watching i hope this helped and uh, i'll see you guys later peace